Welcome to New York. Pokemon crew from France. We are here in Manhattan for the Red Bull BC1 2009 in New York. Welcome to the arena. Thanks. All right, man, so here, this is going to be your primary audience is right here. All of this is going to be filled up. And the stage was here. It's here. It's going to be round. And it's, this, this year, it's a wooden floor. Black wood. Black wood. The it best. nice. No. You know, because they asked me, oh, what should we do? I said, I'm going to tell you what you yeah. should do. I went to go see it. Black is look fresh when the yeah. dancer is on Yeah, and it's yeah. smooth, you know? Let's go get some questions going on, man. Find out what you're about. So let's go. Let's go. Lilu. Yes. What does Lilu mean? Is that your real name, or is it... Lilu. Does it have a particular meaning, if it is your real yes, name? Yes, no. Lilu is from my real name. My name is Ali. 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 And s since when I'm a kid, my mom and all my family, all my friends call me Lilu because in Arabic, when you're a kid, you call Ali, Alilu. For me, it's like my second name. Everybody call me like this. Lilu, 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 Lilu. When did you first witness hip hop? The first I heard about hip hop, yeah. it's with the rap. Christmas nothing, birthdays the same. Feeling all alone and liquor drowns the pain. So how old were you when you first started b-boying? I don't know, maybe 10 years. 10, so by the time you were 15, you began to really understand what hip hop was as far yes, as four, yes, yes. four elements. Okay, who was your greatest influence? Who started you breaking? They have two b-boys in my city. Mm -hmm. Now they stop, There's not, they are not famous. They just dance from my city, small city. And I watch them practicing with meals at Spin 99. Where? So in a small room, in a very small, small room, only two hours by week. So okay. I jump, yo, please, you can teach me the windmills. He said, okay, I was kid, okay. And they saw I was very like, uh, I, I learned fast. You pick up really quick. Yes, okay. boom, boom, boom. Okay, they say, okay, still practicing, you become very strong. I say, okay, thank you. Thank you for the advice. And after I continue alone, alone, I meet other b-boys. And after I, I moved to Lyon, to the center, because all the b-boys, all the b-boys from around Lyon, the suburb, practice there in the center. Okay. So I meet other people, like we make our crew, the Pokemon. So I go like this. And after when I meet people, mm -hmm. I learn about hip hop, culture, the b-boying, the story, because before I didn't know. Okay. Only two guys teach me the windmills and that's it. They don't tell me you have to do this, this, this. Your style is really unique. How did you come up on your style? How did you know like, okay, this is the style I'm gonna really wanna do? Did you discover it? Or did it just start to happen and develop? No, I just, all the time people tell me, yo, you do, you, like, you're crazy, you're funny guy. So when I create a move, I don't focus like, yo, I have to do one move, like with direction like this. No, I just jump on the floor, do what my body want to do. Okay. Just put the music on and boom, boom, and boom. Go. And after, oh, it look nice, and I develop it, you know? I just do what, what my body want to express. So here in New York, a lot of the b-boys were influenced by martial arts. And because we became martial artists, the level went up in our yeah. dancing. Uh, so the rumor is that you studied martial arts yes. as well. I 
I uh, study Kung Fu and I have the black belt since black belt. Uh, 16 years old and it helped me a lot with the breaking. First thing for the flexibility because yeah. you have to be flexible, they open my mind. If the guy is very strong with his hands, walk with the legs. The school of the snake, the school of the dragon, right. and the two masters, the both masters, fight. So in breakdance, it's the same. For example, yeah. I represent my city, Lyon, Pokemon crew. I fight against you, New York. Okay, the style of French style against the New York style. Judges! Lilo! 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 Lilo gets it. What do you think about the difference between competing solo and competing with? A crew. Oh yes, it's totally different. Okay, how? Because imagine, one on one. So on a big stage, only two b-boys. Now crew on crew, eight b-boys, all your friends, all your brothers against another family. Okay. So it's different. In one on one, it's you and yourself. You can dance against power mover guys. Freezer guys, so you have to answer against all of them. So you have to be complete, you have to work everything. So when you're battling in a competition, do you have a a distinct set, and does it change according to who's going on the floor? My mind is very different, like in cypher, mm -hmm. on competition, and in big competition. Right. You understand? Yes. Because in competition like this, it's very big competition. Yeah. So I have to to come and be be strong. So my set is already it's ready on my on my on my head. You understand? Like I know I what I got to do. Did you, so, ever, did you ever black out? Like, okay, I know what I'm going to do. And then your competitor does something that makes you go, oh. Shit. No, it's not like blackout, but it's like I have a plane. He do some move, bam, 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 yo, the, the crowd be crazy. Okay, plane B, plane change. B. Bam, 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 bam. If you are a dancer, you have to do this. All right, so. I saw the movie Turn It Loose and I really liked it a lot, man. And um, what does it mean to you, being in it's it? It's mean a lot because it's not like a movie, only breakdance movie, b-boys movie. For me, it's more like emotional and arts movie because this documentary go inside the characters because when spectator go and watch the movie, they jump on my life. They know everything about my life, where I live, what is my roots, they saw my family, they saw the way I sleep, and it's the same about Tao Tsuke, Ronnie. Mm -hmm. We saw them life, you know? Like, for me, it's like privet. It's more than B-Boy documentary. It's good because when you know the, the life of everybody, you know why they dance like this. Yeah, I believe, you know? it, I definitely felt that. It was more, to me, the movie was more than just about moves. It was about the movement of where you come from. Yes. I think that Turn It Loose is going to have a lasting impression because it moves people. And I think with this movie, the people understand the character and understand what is real B-Boys battle. So if you don't have anything to do, you don't have a job, you don't have a school, you go into a routine and you orient towards a way more easy to make money. And with the dance, it's what I've tried to avoid. Ben ça, c'est celle que j'ai remporté en 2005. World 1-on-1 in B-Boy Championship. C'est à moi. Il y a beaucoup d'émotions dans le film Turn It Loose, et ils deviennent vraiment personnels. Est-ce que tu penses que c'est une bonne chose pour les B-Boys Oui. Nous sommes des B-Boys, mais nous sommes des humains. Et si vous êtes humain, vous avez des émotions. Oui. Quand vous gagnez, quand vous gagnez, vous avez des émotions. Dans ce film, nous avons 16, mais seulement un gagnant. Only one win. So they have 15 other guys <laughs> crying, go practice at home. What is your most favorite scene in the movie? Mm, my favorite scene? 
is the part of Benji. Why? He's very emotional. Because we see his dad crying. For him, it's very the biggest opportunity for move mm -hmm. Senegal, to go to South Africa, to, right. to be on the top 16, mm -hmm. be in the world championship. And when his, his dad read the, the invitation. Speaking of turning it loose, in this particular Red Bull battle in New York, in the Mecca, the competition is unbelievable. Who's the one that we think will give you the most trouble? The most trouble? Really? I don't have only one name. Really? Yes, because we are 16 and maybe, maybe 10 of them ten? is very strong. 10 of them can yes, really turn loose, no. right? Oh, yes. No. Because really, in New York this year, the lineup is very strong. Very, very strong. This is for the championship. Let the battle begin. What do you see yourself in the next two, three years, four years, five years? I don't know. Ready, totally no. I hope be like stay on the game with my family, dancing, make my life. But I don't know. the destiny. Well, we're going to be watching, man. We're looking forward to seeing more of you in the future. And uh, I'll see you in the cypher. Yes. We're right together, man. Yes. <laughs> Peace, brother. Peace.